Hi guys, welcome back on the channel. That's the late night edition. VST here, Venice Peaks Tech, and because it's late, I'm gonna be talking a bit slow. I know there are some people out there telling me to talk slowly. So let's try that one. And the topic for today's or tonight's video is gonna be Android 12 Developer Preview 2, all right? You know about the long story Google releasing Android 12 Developer Preview 1, 2 and 3, then going to the beta 1, 2 and 3, and then at some point later this year, hopefully around September, all right, we're gonna get our hands on the stable Android 12. But without any further ado, guys, let me just show you all the new things that I managed to find using my Pixel 3a device. And of course, we're gonna be starting with something that I was eagerly willing to test in the first developer preview. Let me just show you guys. Swipe down like this, boom. Here it is, the so-called one-handed mode. Wait for seconds, three, two, one, voila. So how do we access this feature, guys? You need to go down into settings, search settings, input one-handed mode, or just go to gestures, right? You can also go to gestures, system gestures, and then just tap one-handed mode. Here it is use one-handed mode right now i have it switched on very nice feature you can set a timer after when the mode is going to disappear let me just show you. right now i have the time to four seconds swipe down one-handed mode waiting four seconds boom gonna get back to the normal handed mode there is also the option to exit the one-handed mode when switching through apps i'm gonna activate the mode let me just go into one-handed mode switching to the next app boom we are now back into the regular mode Okay, how does this work when this mode is switched off? Okay, going back to the one-handed mode. Now I'm switching to the apps and they stay into the one-handed mode. I wait for seconds and this is really so convenient, but let me just show you something. Now here is the iPhone 11. Let me just show you something. So-called reachability from iOS used on iPhone. It is one-to-one, -one, absolutely the same. Now, a lot of people already started hinting, yeah, you know, like Google copied this from Apple. Let it be. People are saying if somebody finds out something cool, it's okay to copy it, maybe even modify it a bit, why not? At the end of the day, this is the reachability on the iOS iPhone, and this is the one-handed mode here on the Google Pixel device. And, and there we now we like um, brothers from another mother, maybe even brothers from the same mother. So enough about the one-handed mode. It is a very much awaited feature. I can only say that the way it's implemented, all the animations, it does really work very flawlessly, even on my old Pixel 3a. You know, no luck, it's pretty much flawless. So respect for the one-handed mode. Now, while I was in the settings, I can already hint you to the next change from developer two compared to the first developer one. We sadly see that right now the dark mode is not so dark anymore. We used to have here pitch black into developer mode one. Right now it is just gray. It's also what we see recently in One UI 3.1, also in Oxygen OS 11. So yeah, that's kind of like the new trend. I mean, the new black apparently is gray. So again, one noticeable change. All right, going back on the home screen, guys, let me just show you something. Right now, I am using the standard theme. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go click here on styles and wallpapers, right? Here, I'm gonna click styles, and I'm gonna go to the VST style I created while testing and using the pixel, of course, on the developer preview one. Why did I do so? Let me just show you something, guys. I wanna play, let's say, a song on Spotify, okay? We have now the song, the song is here. Now you see the color here from this notification is themed with the system UI color, all right? So I'm gonna go back again, one more time, styles, gonna go to stars, right? Gonna go and choose now the default, going back to the default style, which is rounded icons and bluish. See now, here we have the blue color. In the developer view one here, the color was inherited based on the application themselves, Right now, we have this. If I even open Mixcloud, let me just try to do it for the test. Opening Mixcloud on my phone, right? Hey, it's a Pixel 3 it's a slow phone, so wait, right? Let me try to play something, gonna hit the pause. Here we can see Mixcloud and also Spotify all themed accordingly to the system used setting. All right, something also important, I think here we can see that this space is a bit more, all right? That's also a new thing. 
Also, when we click here on the home screen and we go to the widgets, it seems completely redesigned. All right, now let's say we have the calendar widgets, we have this nice preview, we have Chrome, okay, this nice preview again, clock, nice preview. The whole widgets menu seems to be redesigned from developer preview too. And what can I tell you? It does look better and better every time. Now, there are a lot of fine tunings and a lot of changes that are oriented towards developers, APIs, and testing. Of course, a lot of these things I'm not able to show to you guys. I just want to share like the user side of the things. But here, this is again a new change compared to what we had into the developer preview one. Back on the home menu, guys, another tiny change is the fonts here. The fonts that are right now used on the home screen are a bit smaller compared to what they used to be. Yeah, that's a very small change, but it's still a change. Now some words about picture in picture and stashing and etc. I was not able to get this to work. So I'm using here MX Play as a third party software, right? It seems to be working, but ideally the new changes into developer preview two for picture in picture is that tapping on the screen will get you the controls and you also are able to kind of like hide your contact stash it. So let's say you're watching something, you wanna keep the sound, you don't wanna get a video, you can just drag here to the left or to the right and just touch it and then tapping one more time will bring it back. Now, I was not able to get this to work, so I'm just showing you something here. Yeah, that kind of looks like this. All right, maybe we're gonna be able to get this into the next few days of testing. Well, I think that's a nice recap of a lot of new things that we are able to see into the developer preview too, guys. If you like these videos, a sub from your side to my channel will be really much appreciated. Please, you and your families stay safe. And yeah, we're gonna catch up in one of my next videos. VST, right? End of the VST late night show over and bye.